Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah. I hope you all enjoyed your holiday time. And I am back with a card today because today is card day. I am sharing a shadow box card today. It's the first time I've ever done one, but it was really fun to do. And I think it's one that you're going to really like to do because it's really easy, actually. But it has like that kind of wow impact on it. So this one's a Valentine's Day. I know it's early for Valentine's. But um, I really wanted to share this stamp set because it's so dang cute. But this is the card, and it says, you make my heart go beep. And then when you open it, it's a shadow box inside. And I put another little robot in the inside, and then it just says, Happy Valentine's Day. I actually used the shimmering crystal effects on the heart on this one, so it's real shiny. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this set. It's just adorable. So I did make an envelope to go with it because... I'm sending this to probably one of my grandkids. It's so cute. All right, so this is what I'm sharing today. The stamp sets that I'm using are going to be avail available January 4th in our new mini catalog. If you do not have a demonstrator and you would like a catalog, there is a request a catalog on my blog at stampingwithamore.com. You just fill out the form and then I'll send one to you. So you will be seeing them soon, but January 4th starts celebration and the new mini catalog. So the first one's Nuts and Bolts. This is the one that I'm using for this one. It's so darn cute. And then this one is what I used just for the little hearts. I used these hearts and I used the Happy Valentine's. This was for the envelope. And then I just used Happy Valentine's Day. But what you can use whatever Happy Valentine's Day you have. But I wanted to dress up the envelope because I need to start doing that more. So these are the two. These are two new sets coming uh, January 4th. All right, the designer series paper also is going to be new. And it's really, it's one of my favorite. It's called Sweet Talk, and this is what I'm using for this one. But it's more of a, like, Valentine love anniversary. But the other side you can use for just about anything. So, there, it's really cute. So this is what I'm using. I love this striped one, too. I almost used the striped on this, but then I changed it at the last minute. And so we're using this one. And these are the little hearts I'm using on the inside pattern. This one right here. All right, let's get started with this. Okay, so what you are going to need for this is... A piece of eight and a half by 11 and you're going to cut it in half and they're going to be four and a quarter by 11 but you need two pieces that's what's going to make this card and then we are going to mat it and the front mat is five and a quarter by four the inside mat I'm using four and three quarters by four and then this little piece is just for the front behind the little hearts and this is one half by, I forgot to put that down, one half by four. And then you need a scrap piece of gorgeous grape and a scrap of the basic white for stamping. So first let's go ahead and stamp our little robots and I'm going to color them. I'm going to speed through the coloring but because you've seen me color lots of times but I'm going to stamp through the coloring and then I need to fussy cut these because we don't have a die for them. So I am going to fussy cut those and speed through that portion as well. So I'm using Memento Black because I'm using my blends for this. So we are going to stamp both of the little robots. And then we need to stamp this one as well. And I'll put him up here. And to color these, I'm not using very many um, blends. I'm just using the light and dark gray granite and light and dark um, braille red. And I'm using the dark mango melody for his flower. And I think I did also use Daffodil Delight, the light and the or the light so saffron. 
and that was for the flower part. So I'm going to just zoom in for you and just color these really quickly. Okay, so they're both colored, ready to go, and ready to fussy cut. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to uh, zoom back out, and then I'm going to fussy cut this, both of these, and we'll speed through that as well. Okay, so both of these are fussy cut and ready to go. By the way, if you have a scan and cut, these would be great to be cutting out on your scan and cut, especially if you're going to make a bunch. Um, I just decided I was going to fussy cut them because I've had my scan and cut working like crazy during the holidays, and I just didn't want to drag it out again, to be honest. <laughs> So we have those ready to go. So let's get on with the card. These are coming in a, in a duo, the regular heart and the scalloped. So I'm going to go ahead and punch the hearts and have those ready to go. So we're doing that one. And then we're going to just do a basic white from the other one. These are going to be for the front of the card. So that's ready to go. And I'm also going to go ahead and put my shimmery effects on this and so it gives it some time to dry because it does take this a while to dry, especially when you're putting it on pretty thick. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for the little heart. Hopefully it'll be dry by the time we get to it. I did that in the final thing on the last card, so hopefully that's going to dry. All right, let's get to the card. All right, so the two pieces, I'm going to go ahead and score using my paper trimmer because we need to score both of these differently. So the first one that you're going to do is you are going to score at five and a half. And I'm using my stylist because I lost my little trimmer and I haven't ordered one again so and I've been using this for a while I just prefer the stylus anyway and so that is going to be our card base but one thing you need to do on this is you're going to cut a half an inch off the end there so one end is going to be shorter but there's a purpose for that all right, the next one you are going to score at one half. So I'm going to score a half inch on this side. And I'm going to turn it. Then you're going to do it at five and a half. And six. Right, and then on this one, I just cut a tiny smidge off the end here, and I'll show you the reason why. And it's just a tiny, tiny bit. I'll just show you that. See, it's just this little tiny smidge right here. <clears throat> but it does help when you're putting this on. That's the reason I do that. All right, so there's the two pieces we need for that. Now I am going to go ahead on this one is where we're going to cut our hole here for our to see our other little robot. So we are going to use the layering circles and I am using this one which is it's two and three quarters the circle itself is like two and three quarters so I need to bring the cut and emboss out and we are going to put this this is the half inch, so you're going to put it on this side right here. And now if you want to mat the front piece here, make sure you mat it before you put your hole in on, on this one. And then let me see if I can grab some purple tape. And I'm going to center that. I'm leaving a little bit here because that's where our sentiment's going to go. And then we're just going to cut our circle out. 
I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible. I had to watch like four different people make these before I got the hang of it because no one seemed clear enough for me. So I just decided to just do it myself. All right, so there's our hole there. We're going to put this away. Now I also cut another piece that made a little border, which is going to go around here. And that is using this one. And then I used the largest scallop out of the layering circle. So I fit these two inside each other and run it through and you get that little frame. You can also just run this one through and then cut this one if you don't get it even, because sometimes you can't get it even when you put it inside each other. So you can run this one through and then run this one through on top of it. And this one is three and a half inches. But if it's inside there, and if you can get it just right, you can get it, it looks really nice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put that on with some wet glue. This is really an easy car to do, but some people I watched made it so complicated, it was really hard to follow. So I hope this is gonna make it easier for you. So there you go. We have this part, the half inch, and then we are ready to go ahead and put this together. I'm gonna to do the front first, so we're gonna go ahead and mat that. I'm gonna use my stamp and seal for that. This is the front of our card. This is going to be the back part, so don't put your mat on that part, the short part. You're going to put it on this one right here. This is going to be your front. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to stamp this with Memento Black with our sentiment. And our sentiment is, you make my heart go beep. So cute. Ah, I messed that up. I'm going to turn it over because I didn't trim this. Um, some of these are a little bit off. Sometimes that happens and then I get the edge and I press too hard and then it makes that little line. All right, so that's going to be that. I'm going to also do the Happy Valentine's while I have that. And we're going to put that down here. And then I'm also going to do these two little hearts. And I'm actually going to color the inside of those with my real red blends. I love the purple and red together. Gorgeous grape and real red. And then I'm just going to shade this just a tiny bit. Nothing. All right. So now we're ready to go and get this all together. I'm going to put my heart here. And then this is the front. And we'll just go ahead and um, decorate the front when we get this inside. So now this is going to open. This is your short end. You are going to put some tear and tape right at the end here. What I really recommend is using wet glue because I used tear and tape before and the wet glue seemed to work better because you have that little bit of wiggle room to get it on here. So this is a short end. All you're going to do is lay this on top like this and then you're going to just close this. And that is going to attach. So can you see how that's working? And then this piece is just going to go to the back like that. But what I like to do is close this. And then use your wet glue again. And I put it on the shorter piece right here. That's why it gives you that half inch room for your fold. And this just makes it easier, the wet glue. And this is why the smidge was taken off, so it doesn't overlap. It just helps a tiny bit. All right, so when we open it, it's gonna open like that, and you have your little 
shadow box. Isn't that cute? All right, so now I'm going to put my inside piece. Again, I'm going to use wet glue. You can put this on before, beforehand, but I, I liked it just putting, slipping it in there. <laughs> so we are just going to slide it in here. Line that up and just press it down because you can get your fingers in here real easy. So look how cute. And then we are going to put this guy in there. He's not quite dry yet, but so we're going to put him in last. So let's work on the front. All right, we have this little strip here that I'm going to use for the back behind the little heart. So I'm just going to cut these on an angle. This thing is getting in my way today. We're going to put that down. Oops. And then I am going to add the heart. Right there. And then we are going to pop up our little, our little robots here. I'm going to use a tiny mini glue or mini mini dimensional on his little hand there or little flower and then he's going to go right here and then we can put our other little guy in here and he is going to have dimensionals on him as well I'm going to try to be very careful because that still is a little bit wet he's going to go inside. And when you put him inside, make sure you have it all fully open so you get him centered. There. And that's it. Isn't it easy? I think it's very easy to do. It was just so confusing to watch some others. I could not get it. I was like, how is that happening? Okay, so here's the other one. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. It's really a fun one. I hope you try it because it looks difficult, but it's not at all. All right, I hope you have a blessed day. And this is our my December hostess code if you need any supplies. Of course, you can't get any of this until January 4th. But um, I am doing free gift with purchase for December, and time is running out because can you believe the new year is right on top of us? I cannot believe it how fast this year went. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.